Citizen Television. Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I am Cosmic Kev, your host, and this is for the weekend beginning October 3rd, 2014. So what happens this week? Well, so many things. Um, one of the big deals this week is that we have Mercury going retrograde. Well, that's why I had to do this takeover again. <laughs> so, I mean, Mercury's in Scorpio. And it's about two degrees Scorpio, and it's going to go retrograde, and it's not going to be back in two degrees Scorpio again until around November 8th. Um, it will go direct, though, on the 25th, Saturday the 25th. So it goes retrograde this Saturday the 4th at uh, 10.02 a.m., and then it goes direct on the 25th, which is also a Saturday, at 12.17 in the p.m. So you really, you got, you got three weeks. It's not too bad for um, a Mercury retrograde period. <clears throat> and what I will say about this is that we also have a full moon this week, folks. Um, this full moon is rocking the nakshatra of Raviti. And Raviti is the um, last nakshatra of the 27 nakshatras in the uh, Vedic uh, horoscope, so to speak. Um, the Jyotishis would, would go with that. And so what we're looking at here is um, its symbol is a fish. And it's, it's also about letting go of things, too, so that we can have a newness. There's, a, there's an intelligence to it, though. You know, it's subruled by Mercury. And Mercury's in this retrograde position while we have this full moon. So I, I wouldn't, I would say this is a significant moon. And there's a spirit of generosity and surprise. And, you know, in Western astrology, this is a full moon in Aries. Vedic astrology, it's a full moon in Pisces. So this full moon in Aries can be a very violent full moon. But it also could be a, a groundbreaking moon where we initiate things. Here's the other deal. Folks, this is an eclipse. This is not just an ordinary full moon. This is an eclipse. And it's a blood moon. The moon's going to reflect on the earth and there's going to be this orangish tinge to it. And that's huge. And Uranus is also in Aries and it's conjoining the moon. So, which adds an element of surprise and a trickster kind of energy. So we don't know exactly what we're going to get from this. There could be an earthquake. There could be some very unusual weather um, that we haven't seen in a long time where everything switches around, you know, um, you know, suddenly people in, uh, you know, in, in Fresno are in boats because it rained so hard. I mean, that would be, boy, wouldn't that be a kick? <laughs> I, I wish that would happen, but I, I can't say for sure. But, you know, something dramatic and bold like that could happen with this full moon. So I want you to keep in mind in that. And, you know, in Western astrology, we'd say you got the North Node, you've got Libra in, in Libra, you've got, you've got the Sun in Libra, you've got Venus in Libra. So there's this focus on romance and sweetness and niceties and getting together with people. And, I mean, this is an eclipse. And, folks, strange things happens on eclipse. Some relationships you may have to eclipse out of your life. Because you get a revelation, this is not working. I'm not moving forward in this. I need to move forward. So, uh, fasten your safety belt. Here we go, sign by sign for uh, the Planetary Persuader. <laughs> 